Hey everyone, how y'all doing? So, got a new knife today. This was just delivered like five minutes ago from Amazon. I bought it from Amazon for less than 30 bucks. And it is the Moore Companion Spark. I was looking for a new camp knife, hiking knife, a companion knife because what I have right now that I've been using, I used last year, is my Moore basic 511 which is an awesome knife this is carbon steel so I have that and my my big knife that I use camping was my K bar Becker BK2 which is just a beast of a knife I use this to split firewood as long as it's not you know longer than the blade I get baton it has quarter inch blade stock but this thing's a beast it weighs a ton I really don't enjoy carrying this on my belt the 511 is a nice knife lightweight so I like carrying that but I wanted the companion and then I realized the companion also had the spark model with a fire starter so yeah I decided to get that so let's it's wrapped in plastic. Let's get that off because there's a glare. Knife I'm carrying today is the Buck 112 LT. Another nice lightweight knife. Yes. Get this up. I noticed the box has a lot of information. So we'll go over the package here. So. On the front, got more Kniv right there, or Kniv, Knife. It says paracord reflective, should be a little length of um, reflective cord. I don't think it's, it's not 550 paracord. Over here it says fire starter, right here. Lifetime warranty, more Kniv, stainless steel, this is stainless steel. Friction grip made in Sweden. Outdoor companion spark. Here on the back, it lists a lot of stuff. A is the click lock for the ferro rod. B, integrated fire starter. C, friction grip. D, finger guard. E, scandy grind. F, 90 degree sharp ground spine. G, Swedish stainless steel. It's 12C27 Sandvik steel. Belt clip with button system. Lanyard hole is I. Oh, it's in the ferro rod. European high quality fire starter. Paracord 475 millimeter. Then you can read that right there. It has 2.5 millimeter thick blade, which is about right here 0 0.1 inches. And the total blade length <coughs> is 4.1 inches. We'll measure that. It looks like it's going cutting edge. So, yeah, let's get this thing open. Find out the best way of doing it. Go down the side here. There we go. Just rip it open. Get the sheath out. Here's the knife. There's a ferro rod. That just goes in there like that and clicks. So Get that out of the way. Right there says more canoes made in Sweden stainless. Let me tell you, this baby is sharp. Let me get a card. There's a index card. Let's check it out. Uh, a little, a little rough. Got some flakes on there. Boy, it feels sharp though. 
it is. Check that out. Maybe a little strap and refine that edge just a little bit. You know, check the edge out. Scandy grind. I cannot tell there's a micro bevel. Kind of looks like there's a very, very small micro bevel on the edge. So it's not zero grind, scandy grind. I can't, yeah, boy, it's hard to see. Might have a very, very, very small micro bevel right now. But check it out. Got the polymer handle, usual. What they call, what they call the grip on here. Friction grip. That is a little bit softer material. I'm digging it. Well, that feels good in hand. Here's the ferro rod again. Twist it. That clicks in there. Pull it out. Got a ferro rod, which is about, oh, just about inch and a half, a little over inch and a half long. Not too bad. And this does have a sharp 90 degree spine. Definitely shaves the thumbnail. Let's check it out. Gonna have scrapes on the coating off. Whoa. Yeah, I don't know if you saw that or not. Definitely throws a spark nicely. Yeah, I'm digging this. So, compare it a little bit with the basic 511. Check out the sheath. Sheath is a little longer and the companion and the spark. About the same design. Does not have the button. You look at the clips, they have a hole for the um, button system, which means I thought. No, that does not stack I thought you could I thought that was part of the stacking system where you can stack different knives on top of each other and carry them but as you can see that's a little different so when they say button system they mean literally hooking this on a button of a jacket or something you know a good sized button hook it right on front of you or your um, pot or button on your pocket and your coveralls, whatever, so you can carry it that way. I thought they were the same, but they're not. <clears throat> but again, a little bit longer, same material, same type of belt loop. And I like that. You can put that on your belt while taking your belt, you know, undoing your belt. You don't have to thread your belt through. And you can take it off and on whenever. And there's a couple of hooks right there, so it stays on the belt good. This one always did. And this has a stacking button to stack them. This is smooth on the front. Back. Made in Sweden. This had a sticker on it. This doesn't have a sticker. That little piece of Velcro I added. The other half of it's on my... Ontario machete so I carry this on my machete sheath also and that worked out good now compare the knives again quite a bit longer overall handles longer blades longer the blade on the 511 about three and a half this is about 3.9 up there. Good four inches, a little over four inches. If you're going from down here, bottom of the handle to the point. If you go up here, it's only about three and five eighths, seven eighths, I mean. So you got that. <coughs> Blade stock's different. 
the companion should be 0 0.1 I got 0 0.9 or 0 0.09 on this the basics 0 0.07 so a little bit thicker this does not have a 90 degree spine but that sure does handle shape they're both very comfortable this hand this handle on the companion I got more room doesn't feel like my fingers are uh, cramped here I mean they my hand fits but my pinky's sitting that my index is hitting that but still very comfortable my hands just a little bit cramped holding on to it this is way more comfortable basics got a larger finger guard than the spark so yeah just an overview of this unboxing overview how's the retention very nice this one very nice still also yeah no no rattling or nothing on either one but why did I get this like I said I was looking to get another knife that I could carry when we go camping hiking backpacking whatever going over the woods that was lightweight a little bit larger than the five or the 511 and this has the ferro rod so that's cool got fire starting capabilities built right in that and a 90 degree spine excellent this is stainless steel don't have to worry about rusting or anything you don't have to be so careful with it as you do the carbon steel and yeah I also wanted to modify this along with the knife in this package I got a roll of P P S Cook P S K O O K survival paracord hundred feet of it so this has the fire cord in it the braided fishing line the cotton line plus the um, seven strands of paracord all in here you can check that out if you want but that's a future video also I'm going to modify this I'll put that fire cord on here probably make a lanyard speaking of oh, I almost forgot about this here is the little cord they give you that's reflective probably can't see it with lights but it's supposed to be reflective cord it's pretty small you know it's not 550 cord it's I don't know 0 0.07 in diameter so I don't think I'll use that that's intended to go up here I think I'll use a piece of that fire cord and you can see I got red and black should match up pretty decent so I'll make a lanyard out of that for up here I'm gonna wrap this I got a couple other items coming that I'll put in here try to keep it small and compact and lightweight though and yeah this is my new my new outdoor knife outdoors knife for hiking backpacking camping whatever check that out very cool I'm digging it now, I seen people complain about feeling the cutouts here where the ferro rod goes and stuff but I don't think that's too bad in fact my fingers kind of land right there so that's even more grip 
yeah, I can't wait to get this out this summer and test it and um, make feather sticks and kindling and start a fire with it a few times, test it out. So, yeah, you'll be seeing this more in the future for sure. But, yeah, I'm going to modify this up a little bit and I might do one whole video doing everything but it's going to be too long so I think I'll do it in stages you know if I do a paracord for the fire the ferro rod I'll do a video when I go wrap this and add stuff I'll do another video but yeah I guess that'll do it for this this video and this knife for now I like it can't wait to put this to some good use so Guess that's it. Do the usual like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And until the next video, bye.